Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got some pretty good stuff. First up, Novogratz plows ahead in DeFi and then the gamifying of crypto. And this article really is going to boil down to getting me into DeFi. And I'm going to show you exactly why. Also, our friends over at JP Morgan are going to have to pay $920 million to resolve a U.S. investigation into their dirty trading practices. This will be a quick article, but it just goes to show you that the real criminals aren't banking. Also, the presidential debates are tonight, so if you're going to watch, at least earn some T-Fuel over at Theta. And lastly, we're going to go over a poll where I ask the question, what's going to happen to the banks in the next five years? And we had over 2,000 responses, and the results were pretty surprising even to me. But before we get into that, let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So it is the uh, 29th of September, and it looks like it is around 2 p.m. Trying to uh, shore up some things, but uh, here we are. So let's take a look. So Bitcoin, <laughs> down 1%. Seems like it goes up 1%, goes down 1%. What are you going to do? Up 3% for the week. I'll take that little victory. And it's at 1076. So um, hopefully we can breach that 11,000 barrier. Ethereum down 1.4%, but hey, it's it's uh, still up above 350. So I'll take that W. Tether's Tether. Nobody cares. XRP, 24 cents. Watch out. Binance Coin, $28 and uh, up 3.5% in the fifth spot that is amazing looks like it is jockeying for position uh back and forth between bitcoin cash and uh polka dot we'll see what happens but uh binance is really trying to get into the DeFi game and you can see what's happening with the binance coin polka dots down chain link down big time six percent almost seven percent and uh falls below the ten dollar mark so uh, pretty awful bitcoin still in the top 10 don't know why and everything else is pretty much just jockeying around for position any big news any big players theta up four percent up 31 percent for the week and uh i gotta tell you i gotta tell you anything below a dollar uh, like digital dave says is uh pretty much highway robbery you're in finance takes another plummet 20 percent man i've those are some huge swings for a year in finance i don't know how people stay in that game I mean, I've got some pretty good ice in my veins, but uh, to mess around with urine, you've got to be special. UMA, another DeFi product down 8%, down 4%, 3%. Celsius Network uh, up 3%, almost going to break that dollar uh, barrier and uh, well-deserved. And Digibyte down just a little bit, uh, but we'll see how it goes in. Kusama, which I really have to take a look into, is uh, gaining massive ground up 7.2% for the week. So. Ah, congratulations to all you Kusama holders. I do not hold it, but congratulations to you. All right, let's get into today's top story. So speaking of DeFi, this was the article. I almost fell out of my seat because I was like, there's a lot of huge players getting into the game. And this is just one of those articles that just proves the whole point about where smart money is going. So title is Novocrats plows ahead in DeFi and then the gamifying of crypto, which I think is a horrible title. But what are you going to do? Here's what's going on. Here's the meat and potatoes. Novogratz said that while banks are scared of what decentralized finance might do to their business, he's sure that DeFi is not a fraud and not something that's going to come and go. So Moravogratz is right here. Uh, the banks are scared of what's happening, to not just DeFi itself, but what's happening in you know cryptocurrency and digital assets. I mean, look, just last week, uh, Kraken, the cryptocurrency exchange, got a essentially a banking license in Wyoming. What do you think is going to happen when you have Kraken, which is so far ahead of the curve, they know about custody, they know how to do cryptocurrency, they know how to do digital assets, and they're going to get into the game, which is already established, which is all the different things that the banks actually provide checking account savings account debit cards loans high interest for savings or whatever you're going to put into, into the actual account they're going to crush the banks and that's only the start so when you have something like that and you have something like decentralized finance or DeFi come along what do you think the banks are going to do well we answer that question actually and what you think it's going to do in the poll which you're getting to a little bit but moving on, they state, so Galaxy, and this is uh, Mike Novogratz's company, Galaxy Digital, is becoming a minority shareholder in ParaFi Capital, which makes DeFi investments. Other ParaFi investors include Bain Capital and Henry Kravitz, Kravis, co-founder of private equity powerhouse KKR and Company. So if you're not in the whole game as far as finance, I'm not uh, personally all around it. So I had to take a look at, uh, well, Bain Capital, let's just take a quick look at what their assets under management are. And oh, look at this, $105 billion. And then KKNR, uh, American Global Investment Company, a nice cool $148.5 billion. So this is what we might consider the smart money. And they are going into 
decentralized finance. So it's kind of a good indicator of where to look to actually put your money because they're getting in massively early. So this could be an opportunity, not financial advice, but I have to tell you, when I look at these types of things and see where people are going, I think to myself, Rob, you should probably look a little bit more closely at these projects. Moving on to states, it's probably 5% of our capital, roughly. So that's not a giant bet, Novogratz said, of its entire investment in DeFi. But imagine this, 5% of your capital. He's like, no, it's not a big deal. It's only 5%. That's a huge, I, I think that's a huge amount, 5%. Look, when Paul Tudor Jones came out, and Paul Tudor Jones, you're not familiar with this guy. He's like one of those legendary traders. And he's only got like a little, little, you know, paltry 21 billion assets under management. But when he came out and said, look, I'm going to put 1% to 2% of my total investments into not just, not, not Bitcoin, Bitcoin futures. People lost their mind. They could not believe this guy was going to come out of the woodwork and do anything like this because he is totally traditional finance. So when you have somebody like Novogratz go, hey, I mean, we're in already in the space, cryptocurrency digital assets, but we're going to put 5% into DeFi. I think it's a bigger deal than what he's letting on. Just me. Let me know what you think in the comments section, but I think it's pretty big. Moving on, lastly, really, he states, we want to stay close to the cutting edge, Novogratz said. My instinct is this is really an important part of the ecosystem. Parify was founded by Ben Foreman, previously an executive at private equity firms KKR and TPG, which is the one we just talked about, KKR. And Parify began investing in DeFi in 2018. Can you imagine the steals that they got back then? And its investments include apps like Compound, Aave, and Uniswap. So here's my final thoughts. Uh, I'm looking at this, and I've, I've been hearing great things about Aave, compound not too bad and of course uniswap i love uniswap i love how they are building the community how they did that airdrop how they took and gave 400 uh coins away they didn't give it to a bunch of whale investors and you know sock it to other people and it's go like well it's only going to be in this little little part this little small part they gave it away to the community and it's a good project it's a great project and i think it's it can be huge and people have asked me like well you know when are you going to sell your uniswap i don't think i'm going to I think I'm going to stick myself into this ecosystem because I believe in what they're trying to do right there. And yeah, I'm going to take a hit on some profits, but who cares? At some point, you just have to, to ask yourself, what do I really believe in? What, do I believe in what these projects are trying to do, how they're trying to change different things? Or am I just, you know, only in it for the money and then I'll peace out? Depends on what you want to do. I mean, I understand. I'm not, I'm not here to change the entire world, but I will take my stand in certain positions, and I like that. So when I think about Uniswap, great project. And now I really have to take a look a lot harder at Compound and Ave. So let me know what you think in the comment section, but I think this is huge. Moving on.